everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to my insane shoe collection. Today, I'm going to be trying on every single pair of shoes that I own. There's over 140 pairs of shoes here, which is absolute insanity, I understand that, but let me just say this. I've been making videos on YouTube for a few years now, and I'm so lucky that brands are willing to work with me and send me things for free. So a lot of the shoes that you see here, I didn't have to pay for myself. And of course, I don't need all of them. The reason that I've held on to them for as long as I have is because pre the events of 2020 and 2021, I was planning on doing a yearly charity event. I did my first one in January 2020 and I took a whole bunch of shoes along with me and my subscribers came and they were able to shop my shoes and my clothes and my accessories and then we took all that money and we gave it to charity. I wanted to do something like that every year, but given the fact that we haven't been able to host events or anything, I I've ended up accumulating them. Shoes are very, very, very expensive to send overseas. Uh, if you've ever bought a pair of shoes on Depop, you know what I mean. Shoes like this would probably cost $80 to $100 in shipping alone. So that's why I haven't listed any of these things online. So the way that we're going to do this is the shoes that I'm keeping, I will be walking off screen to the right and the shoes that I'm getting rid of, I'll be walking off screen to the left. And to kick things off, let's start with these amazing boots from La Moda. These platform thigh-high boots are from ASOS and they are quite literally some of the most comfortable shoes I own. They're so tall, but they're so sturdy and the heel is so chunky. I have run a mile in these boots, literally. I, I was running late for something and I ran in them and I had no problem whatsoever. These are some of the best boots you can buy. I got these from Wish years ago in my very first Wish shoe haul and I suppose this is the epitome of the term I've really worn them out. I've worn them so much that the heel is uh, basically broken but they're so comfortable and I love them so much that I am going to try and get them repaired and yes I do actually still go out and about with these in the state that they're in I do still leave the house with the broken shoes because it's, it's really not that bad. It's, it's only bad if you sort of get it on a bad angle and then that happens. But as long as you, if you walk cautiously, it's totally fine. So uh, I will go to the movies in these tonight. You, you just, you just watch. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Can, did you know there's like a hole in them? What do you mean? Uh, turn back around. Like. What? I didn't realize it was like that. Gee, that's all good. These are some of my most worn shoes of all time. These Mary Janes are from Koi Footwear. Koi sent me about 20 pairs of shoes. I like them, but they're not the best quality, but they are very comfortable and they're very cute. I get a lot of compliments on these and out of all the flats that I own, I definitely wear these the most. So these have to stay. This is the first pair of shoes we've come across that have nothing to do with YouTube. I bought these for my first ski trip in Japan and these are by the brand Solomon and they're very well made, very heavy duty, they're waterproof. These ones, they're gonna stay forever. Now you might recognize these absolute monstrosities from the Wish shoe haul I posted last year. In that video, I wore these torturous shoes while I cooked a quick and easy meal from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription meal kit that delivers easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that are ready to cook right to your front door. There's no time wasted because you don't have to hop in the car and go grocery shopping. There's no food wasted because the food is all pre-portioned into the exact quantities you need for your recipe. There's dozens of recipes to choose from each week and most take only 30 minutes and some take 20 minutes or less with their quick and easy options. There's low carb, low cal, vegetarian and pescatarian options with fully customizable portion sizes and delivery dates. You can skip a week whenever you want and best of all, HelloFresh is sustainable. Their packaging is either fully recyclable or it's made from recycled materials. If you want to give it a try, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 
to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. HelloFresh is so quick and so easy. You can even cook it while you're wearing boots that are not made for walking. So go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And with that, these ouch. boots are now put into retirement. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Here we have our second pair of shoes that have nothing to do with YouTube. These are Jeffrey Campbell Alien Heels, and I was obsessed with these back in the day when I used to use the website The Lookbook. There was a girl called Rachel Lynch, also known as I Hate Blonde, who was always spotted around New York wearing these shoes. I set myself a Google alert to try to find them, and it took two years, but eventually they popped up on eBay in my size and I bought them for $200. That must have been about 10 years ago, I'd say. And I love them with all my heart, and I'm never getting rid of them. <laughs> I've been given a lot of shoes for free by YesStyle, and YesStyle seems to only really go up to a European size 38. If you have a foot bigger than that, you're gonna have a very hard time, but there are a few brands on YesStyle that cater to shoes that are larger. And uh, these ones, these are my size. They're a size 41, a very rare find on Yes Style. They're really cool, they're reversible. I do love them, but that being said, I've never worn them out. I've worn them a few times in videos, styling other items with them, but I just, I don't know. I can't really imagine wearing this. These are great for partying in, but I do not go out to parties, ever. I would rather stay at home and watch Netflix. So I, I can't imagine watching The Witcher in these. This is the third pair of shoes now that has absolutely nothing to do with YouTube. These are my corporate shoes. When I used to work in the big city and I would commute to work in an office every single day, I chose these. These are Tony Bianco's. They were probably some of the most expensive shoes I'd bought at $90 on sale. They are very comfortable because of the big chunky heel. They are also sock type boots, which means they're really easy to put on and off. And did you see that? Can you see that? It's like a puff of dust. Look. Did you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's how old these are. I'm gonna keep these. I love Tony Bianco's. They're amazing. about these ones because I love the idea of tall white go-go boots. These are not white, they're kind of like a stone creamy kind of colour and they're from Pretty Little Thing and they're not the best quality. So I don't know if I should get rid of these and keep an eye out for some really nice ones or if I should just keep them as long as I have them and wear them until they break and then get some better ones. I don't know. These. My goodness, these are now the fourth pair of shoes that I have owned outside of YouTube. I got these when I was in year 10 at school, so we're talking 2009, and I thought they were the best shoes in the world. I thought I was hot couture, and a boy that I had a crush on saw me wearing them one day and he complimented me on my shoes. I went to the supermarket and uh, he came up to me and he said, oh, Alex, you look so nice, I love your shoes. So of course, I had to keep them. Uh, <laughs> look, I have a husband now and um, he does not like these shoes and neither do I. And I don't need to keep them to please anyone else. So uh, these are long gone. Look, these might be terrifying and horrendous and heinous, uh, but they're excellent for pole dancing, <laughs> so they stay. These are very comfortable. They look comfortable. They're really grippy. What brand are they? These are pretty little thing. Are they meant to be like um, the Fenty ones? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're a Fenty copy. I, I quite like them because they're so comfortable, but this is like not my style in the slightest. Oh, really nice. What do you think about these guys? What do you reckon? 
Oh, you're talking to us, not the audience. I mean, all I of you. I get very confused. All of you. <laughs> I. Hmm. Are they comfy? They're very comfy. They're, 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 they're from Boohoo. I like the style of the velvet with the embroidery, but I don't think they're my favourite. This is a hard one. I'm going to walk these back down the aisle like a bride that is not wanted, and I'm going to leave them as a baby. So, uh, Sam. I hate them. <laughs> you hate them? Look, you have an angle grinder, so I was thinking maybe you could take the black off for me so they're just rounded toe. <laughs> or, or we just leave them as they are, and I keep them for now until I find boots that are exactly this height and exactly this tightness around my calf that they don't have the weird things. They're stupid things. They're stupid things. These they're are from uh, Princess Polly and I love them. These are my pick. You picked them, Remember? Yeah. I know, no. I know. And I remember in my defense, I didn't notice the no. black border. Yeah, because yeah. I also don't love the black border. I don't like the border. But I like everything else about They're them. so comfortable. These are like my, the so second cute. second comfiest heels I have, I would mm -hmm. say. Okay. So I'll keep them. them I'll keep them for yeah, now. Bring them to my place and we'll just Yeah, dock them. Hold them down. <laughs> Grind them down. Yeah. <laughs> it's at this point I'm like, why didn't they just make them pants? They could have just made them pants. They they could just be pants. Uh, <laughs> I bought these because I saw someone online wearing a similar pair and I thought they looked really good on that person. Um, they did look good on that person. They do not look good on me. Yes, they do. These are from YesStyle and these are a copy of the Bottega shoes and until I can actually afford a pair of Bottega shoes, I'm going to hang on to these. Please don't mind the fact that my toenails are blue, it's because I dyed my hair black a couple of days ago and every time I have a shower, the dye keeps running off my head and it is quite literally staining uh, my toes. <laughs> Please ignore that. These are from Wish and while they aren't the best quality, they are so cool. They are so cool. And uh, if these are a copy of something made by a designer, please let me know in the comments because I would like to find the original because I love them. I love anything that's got a really unusual heel and the heel of these is a spine. So these have to stay. Sam thrifted these for me and I love them but they're way too small. These are vintage shoes and they're so cute and I really hope to find a pair that are so similar, but in my size. These are from Wish. They're so crazy. They're absolutely nuts. Ouch, my toe is stuck. I love how wacky they are. I don't wear them out, but I do keep them on display on a shelf and I think I want to keep them for a little bit longer because they do bring me a lot of joy to look at and I love when my friends come over and they see them and they're like, what the hell are they? So I think, I think I'll keep these for now. Can I just say, the ASOS Hello Kitty collection absolutely slaps. It is one of my favourite collabs of all time. Everything that they sold was such good quality. These shoes are beautiful and the attention to detail is amazing. The little buckle is a love heart. The only thing that I wish is that the little bow would come off because sometimes the little bow just does not match, but they're so comfortable that I love to wear them. The heel is nice and chunky. I love the pink velvet. These are a real collector's piece. And I think for now, I'm gonna keep them. These are to date, some of the most incredible shoes I have ever owned, but they are from Dolls Kill, and I don't support Dolls Kill as a brand anymore. If you're wondering why, it's a pretty easy Google search. Just Google Dolls Kill and Problematic, and come back and leave a comment after you've read it, and tell me what you think. I can't support the brand, but there's plenty of people that would love to buy something like this secondhand, so I think I may list these on Depop. They will have an astronomical shipping rate, but because they're a little bit broken, I'll be able to sell them for cheaper than other people would be listing them for. They're not terribly broken, it's just these little hooks. Dolls Kill didn't make them very well and the hooks break very easily, so they need just like a little bit of a DIY job done to them. So these ones are definitely going, but 
Before I send them away to their new home, I'm going to analyze them very closely and I'm gonna try and recreate them using a pair of shoes that I own. I'm gonna try and do exactly the same thing because I love them. These are from Pretty Little Thing and they're brand new. I've never worn them because even though they were advertised as my size, they're way too big for me and they're not very comfortable. So I never unraveled them, I never took off this thing that was holding the bow together. So I'm just gonna leave it in its brand new condition. But this ribbon is supposed to be laced all the way up the leg. But yeah, not a good fit for me. These are also Bottega dupes. These are from ASOS. They're so comfortable and plush. The quilting, oh, it's so cute. And the color is the perfect shade of bubblegum pink. I adore them. These ones, these have to stay for sure. These are from Wish and they're crazy and stupid and ridiculous but they're very comfortable and I really, really like them. But as you can see, they're too small for me. My toe hangs over the edge. If they were my size, I would actually keep them because I really, really love them. I got these because they're very, very similar to a pair of Louis Vuitton mules called the Marilyn Mule that I've been obsessed with for years and I've never been able to get my hands on. These were supposed to fill the hole in my heart that those shoes left behind, but they, they just can't. So they're gonna have to go. These shoes from Fashion Nova are excellent for when you want to make your toes look like cryo vacked noodles. I love the idea of clear heels. The Kardashians pull them off. Every model on Fashion Nova can pull it off, but you actually wear it and it is so ridiculous. <laughs> the fifth pair of shoes now that I got outside of YouTube. These were the shoes that I wore to my year 10 formal, which is the Australian equivalent of prom. I love these and I will cherish them forever. This is the sixth pair of shoes that I got pre-YouTube. These are a copy of the Valentino, I think they're called like rock studs or something like that. And I bought these because in my corporate job, lots of ladies in the corporate world wear Valentino heels with Balban blazers and I wanted to fit in and be like them but I couldn't afford it so I got these. These are just from a random shopping mall shoe stall that had no brand or no name and I'm going to keep them until I can actually get some real Valentinos one day. by Yes Style, uh, another rare find on the Yes Style website that actually fits a size 41. I think that I would wear these in Japan a lot, but over here, I don't think I can get away with wearing shoes with bells on them to Woolworths. You know you're an OG Pretty Pastel Please subscriber if you recognize these shoes and you know which video they're from. <laughs> These are from the early days of my channel and I got these, I think, off of Boohoo and uh, they came with black laces. I replaced the black laces with this pretty purple ribbon and I do really like them, but I've hardly worn them lately. I used to wear them a lot, but not so much anymore. These are from ASOS. These are so cool and I love them, but I've only worn them out of the house once because I find it very, very difficult to style these. These are going to have to be a solid maybe. This is the seventh pair of shoes that I got outside of YouTube. These are also Tony Bianco's, another pair that I bought for my corporate job. I have worn these for years. There was a point in my life where I wore these every day, probably for six months straight, I would say. And you can see from the heel where the little cap is missing that they're in desperate need of being repaired. So I'm going to try and get these repaired. And if the cobbler tells me that it can't be done, I'm just going to buy them again because I'm fairly certain that Tony Bianco still makes these. These are also from Yes Style. These are a copy of the YSL filigree heels. I love those shoes so much and I really want to try and find the real ones secondhand if I can. 
Uh, these were a substitute for those, but they're a size too small for me. So I'm gonna send these to a new home. These are from YesStyle. I thought that they were going to be my size and they most certainly were not, which is a shame because I actually really like them. These are from Yes Style and they are my favorite type of shoe. I love rounded toe heels with a nice chunky platform heel, but uh, they're way too small for me. I can't even do them up at the buckle because they're just too small. These are Italian leather shoes that I thrifted. I paid $30 for them from Vinnie's and I really did think that I would get a lot of wear out of them, but I haven't worn them once and I really don't think that I ever will. I thrifted these and I really like them, but they're very, very uncomfortable. They look really old, so I would have thought that after all the years that various people have worn them, they would be worn in and softened by now, but no, no, they're still sharp as razor blades. Koi Footwear sent me these, and I really like them. They're very pretty. They're like a champagne color, and they're velvet, so they've got a nice little bit of shine to them. There's butterflies embroidered on them, and I do think they're really pretty, but I just don't know. These are another maybe. I got these in one of the first clothing haul videos on my channel. It was a Romwe haul where my subscribers picked the items that they wanted me to buy. And these to this day are some of my absolute favorite shoes. They're so comfortable, they're so cute, the heel is adorable. And also, fun fact, when people sell these shoes on Depop, they use the picture from my Instagram. I've come across these on Depop about six times now where people have taken the picture from my Instagram and they've used that in their Depop listing. I love these and I'm never gonna get rid of them. And as much as Romwe is a fast fashion company that is uh, known for making cheap clothes, these shoes really have lasted. I wore these all around Japan and I've worn them regularly every year since I uploaded that video and they're some of my favorites. Tiasha thrifted these for me in a style swap video and as cool as they are, they are one size too big for me, but a subscriber left a comment on that video and said that she loved them and they are her size. So I'm gonna send these to her. I just have to work out who she was because her comment has disappeared now. So uh, <laughs> I gotta find her again. But when I find her, I'm gonna send her these. These are the eighth pair of shoes now that I got pre-YouTube. These are my Bordellos. They are a pinup brand and these were quite expensive. I had to save up for about two years to buy these. I had them on my radar and I wanted them and I kept saving and saving and saving and I got them and I hardly wore them because they're stilettos. Or should I say stiletto nose? Oh hell no's? Stiletto hell no's. Yeah, well look, they're just that tall and they're very difficult to walk in, but also they're absolutely incredible. And going into the next year, I'm gonna be trying to buy a little bit more pin-up, vintage, retro, and a rockabilly style clothing. So I think I'll be rocking these in 2022. I thrifted these in Japan uh, from the men's section because my gargantuan feet don't fit a single lady's shoe in Japan. But unfortunately, these are two sizes too big. I thrifted these. They're very, very difficult to get on. They are my size, 
but they're laced up so tightly and it's gonna take me way too long to try to unlace them. But I thrifted them for like $10. They're Puma Sky 2 shoes and they even came with interchangeable laces. They were brand new in the box and they were $10 at a market. So they're staying. I stole the laces off these shoes for a craft project. This is the ninth pair of shoes now that I got pre-YouTube. I bought these from Maya and they're the brand Miss Shop and you can't go wrong with a classic pair of black pumps. I love them. These are from Princess Polly and they're really, really cool. But my friend Beck really wants them. She has the same size foot as me and she will wear these to work every day. So I'm gonna give these to her. These are the 10th pair of shoes that uh, came to be in my possession pre-YouTube. These are actually my mom's. These are so ridiculously comfortable. I don't know the brand, let me see. Naturalizer. The brand is Naturalizer. They are so comfortable. They're padded on the inside, so they're nice and sort of puffy and very cozy to wear, and I can wear these all day long. These are a maybe. These are the brand Bellini, and I got them in a Princess Polly video. They're comfortable, but they're not comfortable. The straps don't offer much support at all. I think these are great for styling. If I was going to a sophisticated restaurant and I had a, a very nice sleek dress on, I'd want to wear these but I don't know if I really need to keep them or not. This is the 11th pair of shoes that I got before YouTube. I bought these in 2011 and uh, they are coach. I got these in Hawaii. I stayed in Waikiki and there's a very well-known outlet area. I think it's called the Wai, Wai, uh, Wai Lea, Wai Malea, I can't remember, outlet. And the coach store there sells everything like 80% off. So I got these for, I don't know, maybe they were like $40 or something and they're worth several hundred. I love them. I seriously love them. These started off as shoes from Wish, and then my best friend Sam turned them into unicorn slides for me. Uh, they're not very practical, but they hold very, very fond memories. So uh, these are going to have to stay. These don't fit me, and I actually bought them for my friend Tiasha, but they don't fit her either. <laughs> Koi Footwear sent me these, and unfortunately, they don't fit.
these. These are my wedding shoes. Yes, that's right. I wore pink sparkly buffalo sneakers underneath my wedding dress and it was the best decision I ever made. They made me tall enough that my dress didn't uh, drag along the ground, but also I was so comfortable that I was able to wear them all day. No one even knew I was wearing them until I hoisted the dress up and showed people and everyone I showed said that it was a great idea. I will cherish these shoes forever. Buffaloes are the coolest sneakers ever. These are my first and only new purchase from Chanel. I bought these Chanel sneakers as a gift to myself to congratulate myself on my 200,000 subscriber milestone. I think it was about three years ago now that I got these and I haven't actually worn them out of the house because they were quite expensive and I've just been too scared to get them dirty. But that's all going to change in the coming year. I'm going to start wearing these in 2022. And even if they do get a bit scuffed and dirty, I mean, they're shoes. That's what they're for. <laughs> My Little Pony boots were gifted to me by a subscriber. They're the brand Iron Fist. I think they might be from the UK. They are so cute. I love them and they're also very, very comfortable. I've never worn these Hello Kitty Converse sneakers. They came with multiple pairs of laces, some that say Hello Kitty, some that are plain white. They're adorable shoes and theoretically I should love them, but it's something about the shape of them. I just don't really like this shaped shoe on my foot. And finally, the last two pairs of shoes. These are my YRU Little Twin Stars shoes that uh, any of my OG subscribers will recognize. I fought so hard to get these shoes. I went through a big old controversy on Depop trying to buy them and paying for them and then someone not sending them to me and fighting for a refund for a long time. Uh, I love the look of these shoes, I do. I really, really adore them. Very dangerous for the both of us. Surprisingly stable. You feel like you're winning this. You don't want to wear heels because that's not comfortable when you wear these. Yeah, no one does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's it, guys. That's everything. That is my entire shoe collection. Done. Uh, finally done. That took me two and a half hours to try on all of those shoes. <laughs> I thought you were falling. No, I thought you were falling. <laughs> I was like, oh. Hang on, let me take these off because I want to see just how majestically tall you are right now. <laughs> So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! Yeah, yeah.